what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Ah. <laughs> Except for herpes. That shit will come back with you. Come in, Rupert. What do we find you today? Still at the horse racing? Uh, I'm still at the horse racing. I'm going to bring... You may be in the culinary capital of France, but I've been spending my morning with Raymond Blanc tasting his food because he cooks here. So to bring a French theme to the proceedings from Royal Ascot. And he's, he's just... He's definitely different. He's very, very charming. The ladies what, love him. What did he make you, Rupert? Pasty Bob? Uh, well... <laughs> It was something, it, it was a, it poured some rosé champagne into a bowl of fruit and it just exploded. And the flavour, darlings, was delicious. <sighs> <laughs> so I have, I've had a, I, I, something definitely different. It wasn't a pasty bap, I can assure you, Colin. <laughs> and of course, the, the, the water's been flowing out on the course. I mean, thunderstorms, yeah. delays, all sorts. I mean, we had, we had biblical weather here during the Northern yeah. Ireland game, the hailstones falling, match delayed for a bit, and uh, it's really interrupted the start of the US Open. Oh, uh, absolutely. I mean, the, the US Open, but it actually played into Rory McIlroy's hands, because I think he shot off the course to go and watch the Northern Ireland game. Yeah. Lee Westwood got off the course as well at one stage, so he could watch the England game, and it would seem like every screen at, at Oakmont seem to be turned onto the Euros. So I'm going to yeah. have to try and cram in as much as possible. There's a knobby no-mate, so I've never ever heard of him, Andrew Landry, out at the top. I mean, he qualified. He's ranked 624 in the world. But Lee Westwood has got off to a pretty solid start, which is really encouraging. And I hope he can keep it going as they <laughs> dodge the showers, which might make the course a little easier. The, the line isn't great, Rupert, in my ears, and maybe it's me and, and our night we had last night. Did you say that Angela Lansbury is, is leading the US Open? <laughs> no, well, no, I don't think I said that. I think okay. there is a little bit of a... Water's got into the line then. Um, well, talking of pulling up, let's hope your bet doesn't at Royal Ascot today. What are we looking out for? Uh, well, the card is... Well I'm, I'm, well, I'm hopeful that my brother's horse that he trains for the Queen is actually... Oh, yes going to run a big race. Guy Fawkes? Uh, uh, no, not Guy Fawkes. No. Uh, Fabricate is the name of the horse. Uh, sadly, you mentioned Guy Fawkes on a serious note. Unfortunately, that horse broke down in the race. So for oh. the Queen, it would be great if she could have a little bit of... You know, she bred the horse yesterday, so she fully understands that this is part of the racing game. But as I say, she's got Fabricate running in her colours. Doing the same joke, they were like, whacking love, he plays off scratch. No <laughs> doubt about that. <laughs> right, we'll catch up every day throughout the tournament with Burton's Fish and Chips, a savoury snack in newspaper print bags. New flavour in the shelves as well. You can pick up the Burton's Chicken and Chips, uh, available exclusively at Asda. Now, we've got an hour of the show left. I am hanging on for dear life here. I've got, <laughs> I've got to be honest, I've never suffered this badly. I mean, I feel like I could, like, could I lie down. I've never had to lie down before doing... A radio show, it, it, it may need need to happen. Could we just not talk about sport for last time and just play, play some cool and soothing dolphin sounds and whale music <laughs> and maybe a bit of pan pipes thrown in as well? We're back shortly and talk sport.